everyone, Callie here, and I've got another deck showcase for you today. Uh, this time, I'm taking a look at Hisuian Arcanine. This is a deck that needs very little energy, similar to the Cramorant deck that I looked at recently. It's another Lost Origin deck that's pretty fun. The main part of the deck is this new Hisuian Arcanine. It's got this very vulnerable ability that costs no energy. So it only does 10 damage at first, but then if you have no cards in your hand, deals 150 more damage. So you're hitting for 160 potentially with no energy. Kind of crazy, especially since you can do that, you know, as soon as you go your second turn after you evolve. A lot of fun to play around with this. We've got some good support to help us make sure that we're hitting that every single turn. Um, some things that help us move things around is this supporter right here. Let you discard your hand Search your deck for up to two trainer cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. So you use that, get rid of your hand, find two trainers that you're going to be able to then use and empty your hand again. Plenty of stuff to get, you know, obviously plenty of balls, like level ball, great ball, um, or not great ball, quick balls, ultra balls, you know, ordinary rods that you can use, all this good kind of stuff, you know, a stadium if you might need it. Ball Guy is another way to not only get Pokemon on the board by finding balls that you need, which then lets you find the Pokemon you need, but letting you also figure out how you can empty your hand. You know, if you've got like two other cards in your hand after this, maybe we'll get like an Ultra Ball, um, that kind of thing. Great way to make, help make sure that you're emptying out the hand. Of course, Hisuian Heavy Ball uh, is another good way to find Pokemon that are in your prizes that you might need. So lots of ways to find those Pokemon, however you need to, and then empty out the hand. Other things to help kind of support you a little bit, we do run Rose Towers. So obviously, again, you're trying to get your hand really low. Sometimes you need this to help kind of even out your hand a little bit more, get you up to just enough cards to get rid of with an Ultra Ball or a Quick Ball, something like that. You also have the Radiant Venusaur, a great way to make sure that you're not just top decking on your next turn. You usually want to get this down very early. We've got Myena in here with no first form. This has gotten into play with the Zor arc. But to talk about the Myena, this comes online against V Maxes. Doesn't need any energy to again hit for 160, though it does damage itself when it does that. But great way to finish off a V Max if you really need to. Uh, to get that in play, you use Phantom Transformation from the Zor arc here. We do run several of those to help that get online. On top of that, it combos well with this Slowbro, who's really in here for this Twilight Inspiration. That's actually the sole reason that we use this Twin Energy here. It's pretty much just to power up that Slowbro. Altaria is another great way to make sure that we can set up for our next turn. A lot of times you want to end off your turn by using this ability, putting either a Ball Guy or this card on the top of your deck. Sometimes a boss's orders or something else really kind of depends on the specific situation. But again, Great way to make sure you're set up for your next turn, especially when you're drawing those four cards with Venusaur right at the end. And last but not least, an Oranguru. Sometimes you really don't want to discard a card with your Ultra Ball or your Quick Ball. So Oranguru helps make sure that you can kind of smooth out those weird turns, put that back on the top of your deck, get something else that you are hopefully a little bit more okay with discarding. That said, that's really the deck. So we're going to jump into a few games here, kind of see how we can do. I haven't had a chance to play too much with this, but it's been a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of little decisions you're having to make with this one. So yeah, let's see if we can get any wins. All right, looks like we're gonna go first. Okay, so we do have our Growlithe here. Not an amazing opening hand. We do have some ways to find stuff that we want. Probably gonna try to get down an Altaria, maybe a Venusaur as well. This is a little weird. Let's see here. We'll go ahead and Ultra Ball. Discard one of these. And I feel like the Air Balloon. Looks like we got Lunatone Soul Rock that we're going up against. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're going to be able to get one more card. So let's... Oh, wow. We don't have any of our... It's a little awkward. I feel like the Radiant Venusaur is prized. That does hurt a little bit. We're going to get the Altaria. 
need to make sure that we're set up for future turns. Um, let's see. So since we don't have the Radiant Venusaur, that was going to be another thing I was going to go for. I almost kind of just want to pass here and let our opponent do something. Hope that he doesn't go off and kill us. Maybe I should get down another Growlithe just in case. No, might be a mistake. We'll see what happens. Still a Rock and Lunaton. Definitely always kind of a hard deck to deal with. This might not be something that we can win. <laughs> Oh wow, it's different running an Alistair? I don't know if I've ever seen this card. Sure, they're discarding a lot. I wonder if they're using that to discard energies. Really just waiting for this Soul Rock Lunaton to do Soul Rock Lunatone things. Looking like they're doing pretty well at getting energies right now. They got the boss. We did get lose our balloon, so that does suck a little bit for us. So we could make things awkward for them with the boss, potentially. I feel like here, I want to Ultra Ball. Let's just go into the deck real quick and take a look at some stuff. We do have our Altaria. We've got an Arcanine we can go for. We do have one more Air Balloon that we can go get. So we can attack with Arcanine this turn. So let's grab one of these. We're going to use this and get an Altaria. We're going to evolve. Discard our non-existent hand. And here I want to grab see, Radiant Venusaur would actually be great. So let's get a Hisuian Heavy Ball. And what else do we want? Do we want the Air Balloon? Of course, I had forgotten that we do want that. Oh, well, Terry has no retreat cost. I'm dumb. I'm really dumb, but we want this Radiant Venusaur. That's all right. Whoopsie. We'll just retreat. Silly us. Uh, let's see. I feel like we want a ball guy next turn because we do want to make sure we get some backup Pokemon. So we'll put that on top. Radiant Venusaur will draw that for us. And we will smash. Boom. What's good here is we did take the first prize. So against the single prize decks, you always want to try to take the first prize first. Hopefully, we are really lucky here and he somehow doesn't have another Lunatone. Though we know he's got the Rescue Carrier, so we can get this one back at least. Oh, he is having to play it. That's good for us. Just going to plop that down. Probably has a way to bring it out. Doesn't quite have enough energy right now to kill us. Probably has another one in hand. Here, let's see, we'll probably. Okay, so he does have a balloon, he retreats. We're gonna need another Growlithe down. We got that easily with a level ball. Okay, he does Marnie us. Guessing he's looking for another energy. All right, not bad. All right, he did find another energy, so that's that's fine. We don't have a great next turn here. Um, I guess we need to get a Zorark set up as well. Try to get an Altaria back. I feel like I can't afford to lose the Venusaur. We'll do this. We're not going to be able to attack this turn, so we don't really need to worry about emptying our hand. Do you know this is here, so we'll go get that. We're not going to need the Mightyena in this matchup, so I don't really mind getting rid of it. Let's make sure we can get... Hmm. Do we want the Orangaroo? Hmm. I feel 
feel like we might want the Orangaroo here. And again, we are going to be trading Arcanines every turn with the Lunatones. It does suck that we're now behind here. A tempting Tune here. What do we want? I guess we're probably going to want him on top. We'll just go ahead and draw that next turn. I guess really this turn. Yeah, I guess I could retreat the Altaria into the Zora, and then I don't really need the Zora as badly. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Venusaur will fill back up our hand. Well, we got plenty of Zoras now, so we got a backup. It does really suck that we fell behind in prizes there. I, I should have set up an extra Arcanine. And against these single prizes, you always gotta be sure that you are staying ahead. At this point, we're just going to have to hope that he whiffs, which, you know, again, Soul Rock and Lunatone doesn't happen very often. He gets the boss in the Marnie. We already really know what our play is here. Lose Zora. Go up with Growlithe. We're going to bench one. going to evolve. I guess I could bench another one. No, I feel like... Hmm. I kind of feel like we want the Orangaroo here. So we'll use this. And for our two trainers... I guess we could evolve. Like, do we play this growl at this turn? Gosh, I don't remember now. You know what? Screw it. Let's make sure that we're set up for our next turn. We need something else that we can use. Let's get rid of his focus stop. Hopefully we can actually evolve this Arcanine. Oh, thank you. Put this down. I'm going to set up a ball guy for next turn, I think. And then we will attack the Lunatone. going to be a really hard game for us to win. Hopefully he doesn't bench another Lunatone here. I mean, he's got... As far as we know, no rescue carrier right now. We've got our Ranguru to help us out here. I kind of feel like with the ball guy, I'm just going to grab maybe one Ultra Ball. We get fish back for that. It seems like he's hurting on Lunatones a little bit. We maybe have a chance to come back here. It's kind of good for us. He shuffled back in those energies. Probably not going to matter too much. But since he didn't bench a Lunatone, and I feel like we've got a shot here. So we'll bench an Orangaroo. We are going to need to Ordinary Rod back in some Growlas. So we could also just get... Zorark. Oh, you know what? The Slowbro. Slowbro is really helpful here. We need to get the Slowbro out of the deck. Alright, so we're going to shovel back in an Arcanine and a Growlithe. I think this makes sense. With Ball Guy, we want to get a... Let's see... I guess we could equip an energy. Is there another Growlithe on the prizes? Or was that a Zera? Yeah, there's the Growlithe. So we'll get this. We want that. We'll bench it. 
think we'll get a level ball here and an ultra ball because we're just going to throw away these two cards. And we're going to get this. I need to get... Let's see. I need to get the slow bro into the graveyard. So we're going to set up a ball guy and we're going to take care of that next turn. You know, I actually haven't been paying attention if my twin energy is gone. All right. So now we're going to see, can we catch back up in prizes? Heavy ball just keeps coming back. Now it's pretty useless. All right, he's got the trekking shoes. He doesn't find a rescue carrier. Okay, well, he's got a level ball. He definitely finds a Lunatone. So this is not our turn here to catch back up. We do have the slow bro that can potentially win it for us here. We just need to get into the graveyard. So if we go for that with our ball guy... He Marnied us. That does suck a little bit. Hopefully we'll find what we need here to still pull this off. Not great. I guess with this, we can still go find... Hmm. And how do we discard it? I should have gone for the slow board earlier. There's definitely chances I could have done it. It's certainly one of those situations where I don't know the deck very well. We just take out our Venusaur. That hurts. Level ball doesn't help us here. We use the Pokestop. I think we do, maybe. That didn't help us at all. We just lost some good cards. I think bossing up something doesn't help a ton. You know, maybe the level ball to get a, another Zora down. Or no, we need the bench space. No, we don't. What am I talking about? We'll get this down. Let's put the other Zoras in the graveyard. So that's not super helpful. can't put it back in the deck, I guess, actually. Let's do that. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, there's a slow bro. That's perfect. Okay. So we got this. Now we just need to basically put stuff that we don't care about. So we can make sure we kill this off. We're going to get this down. Oh, I still need my twin energy, I guess. It's not in the prizes, right? All right, so we're going to Ordinary Rod. This back in. And... This back in. You know what? We really don't want anything, actually, do we? Because we're just going for the slow bro here. I guess we have to put in something. Okay, so we'll just put in one card. Is there a supporter that we can guarantee? We don't have that anymore. Oh, you know, our 20 energy is prized. So we have to hope that we draw it here. Yeah, we have to hope that we get it from our prize. So let's kill this off. Okay, we get it. We get it. All right. So as long as he doesn't boss up our Zorark... Do 
Do we maybe pull this off? I guess we'll see. Just powering it up. We tax the Arcanine, then we win here. Okay, alright, so we win. We're gonna bring up our Zorark. Okay, so yeah, we'll bring up Zorark. We will turn our Zorark into Slowbro. We'll equip a twin energy and take two prizes. All right, there we go. We beat the rocks. Definitely didn't play that as optimally as it could, but you kind of saw there in the game, you know, we were able to take down the rocks. That's really, I feel like the best way that you take out the single prizes is you make sure you set up your slow bro. I should have make, made sure that I did that earlier in the game to make sure it was a discard. I also should have been paying attention the multiple times that I used my heavy ball to check for there to see if the twin energy was gone. We definitely lucked into that win a little bit, but, you know, we managed to pull it out. We kind of, you know, we're figuring out the deck still. I'm still kind of learning the game in general, figuring out how to play optimally. But this was a fun one to show off. You know, if you want to build this, it's a pretty cheap deck overall. Obviously, you can see that down in the description. So if you liked this showcase, be sure to give the video a like. Uh, and go ahead and subscribe as well. Probably going to be doing a lot more deck showcases uh, coming up very soon. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.